Hey guys, Joe and it coming in. Got a different battle here, Total War. We're doing the Pike and Shot Total War. This uh, mod was actually suggested to be by a fellow YouTuber. I will put the channel link for his channel in the description below. You guys, go on over there and show him some love. Uh, but yeah, so I've never really covered anything out of this. I've covered some Napoleon before, but never anything else. Uh, well, maybe some Shogun, but uh, not a whole lot of musket. I've done usually a whole lot of, you know, ancient, historical, kind of Rome 2 kind of stuff. 1212, maybe a little bit of, you know, Rise of Mordor, stuff like that. But, or Dawnless Days, I should say. But, you know, I pretty much stick to, like, the sword and board kind of stuff. Not really very much the, the musket era. But, um, like I said, this was suggested to me to cover. So, I'm going to give it a shot here and go after covering a battle replay that was put over into the Pike and Shot Total War Discord, which also I will put a link for it in the description below, too. So, all right. Uh, so, we do have a 2v2 here today. Obviously, it is a field battle. We have the HRE over here being commanded by Dr. Pyro. And then his ally over here is Spain, I believe, uh, being commanded by Lord Lork. Then moving over onto this side of the battlefield, first we have the Netherlands, or the Dutch, being commanded by Liam. And then finally, back over here, we do have France being commanded by Danilo. I think it's Danilo? Danilo? Uh, but yeah, so we're going to just take a quick look at some of the units here. I have not really looked very much at this, but wow. Those guys look really cool. Look at that armor detail that's see that's one of the things i really love about total war modding the modding teams all over the entirety of total war the detail the attention to detail that they put in is really 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 cool wish i could say some of the names of these units but i know i definitely cannot so i am not going to attempt as i do not feel like upsetting anybody even let's uh, check out some of the cav here look at those guys wow This look really, really cool. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. This is a mod for Shogun 2, if you couldn't tell by looking at how the game is. Obviously, this is a Shogun 2 mod. Um, so, I feel like I'm going to need... Oh, wait. We got some shots going on over here. Got some stakes that were put up. What do we have going on here? We got some... Oh, are they routing? What's going on? They don't look happy. Steady, very tired, concerned, very tired. Yeah, they don't look very happy. They have a unit next to them as well here, though. What are they firing at? Looks like they're firing at some of the Holy Roman Empire. So we got some skirmishers that have moved up. Maybe some Jaeger. Oh, these guys. Oh, this is proper musketeers. Okay. I was going to say, maybe these are some more Jaegers over here, but these are pri proper riflemen. These are the musketeers of France firing over, getting some shots in, not breaking the... Oh, no, they did. They routed. Not in combat. Very, very... Very, very, wow, they only lost one man. Immediate to breaking. Immediate to breaking. We got fire by column going on here? Is that what that was? It looked like a fire by column. Interesting. Love the detail again. Love, love, love the detail. What do we got going on over here? Just kind of staring at each other. Bunch of cav over here staring at each other. Yeah. Bunch of cav staring at each other. Okay. So that's probably going to be a fun little fight to watch over on that side. But we do also have some more musketeers back here for the Netherlands. So definitely going to have to keep an eye out for that. Do we have any artillery firing just yet? Oh, here's a general. Is that a general? Looks pretty armored. Yeah, I think that's a general, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if we can see. Oh, wait. What does that say? Battalion commander. Oh, maybe this is the general. I guess that's him right there. No weapon. I guess that's the commander right there. So, all right. Well, uh, I know this has definitely been a very long intro, but I kind of wanted to cover some of it. I didn't want to just come in and be like, hey, these are who's fighting each other and then uh, go into the fight. I kind of wanted to show some of the units off and maybe explain a little bit about how I stumbled across this mod. And um, it looks definitely looks interesting. Definitely looks like a very interesting mod. I have not... Oh, we have a general that's under attack somewhere. I don't know whose general that is. Looks like... Ah, 
maybe the French general there. It says, under artillery attack. So he is being fired upon. Looks like maybe it is the HRE's six-pounder here. Firing away. Wait for a little volley here. Let's see. See what this looks like. Then we will cut and get to the beginning of the battle. Oh. Almost lined up like perfectly to the front of the nose there. It's definitely cool. Long time to clean them barrels. Got a lot of gunshots. Oh my god. So much gunshots going on over there. Alright. You know what? I'll find another. Oh wait. Oh. We got one. Come on. There you go. Good shooting. Good shooting. All right, now we're going to jump into the replay. So, guys, I will see you there in just a few minutes. All right, so getting into the battle replay, it's been a couple of minutes, uh, but we've had a lot of firing going on, a lot of lot of the units over on this side. Uh, looks like the Spanish units taking a lot of losses. A lot of losses. Oh, my God, just more and more and more gunshots being poured into that Spanish cavalry line. This looks so... Actually, wait. We have some losses on this side. The Netherlands have lost a couple of units. Looks like they've lost one full unit there. Another unit have taken some losses. Looked like initially the Spanish have taken a lot more losses. But unfortunately, does not look like that is the case. We actually have a charge incoming. Oh, my God. What a devastating line of fire right there. Rate of fire into those French troops as they were charging in. That French cavalry. Brutal. I think they just ripped right through. They did. Oh, no, they lost. The French units lost. The Netherlands, the Dutch have held the line for the moment. A lot of French cavalry over this side getting dropped mercilessly. Wow. That was pretty brutal. I got to say, that was pretty brutal. I was not expecting to see the uh, Dutch here continue to, to hold the line. I thought for sure the French were going to break right through there. I'm sorry, not the French, the Spanish. We're going to break right through there. The French are on the other end. Swing back down over on this side, see what's going on. All right, we got some more cannons firing. Six-pounders firing away again. We did have some cav... Uh, some... Um, artil oh, there it is. I was going to say, I did see some artillery that had moved up here for France. It looked like he's still limbered up, though, so they're going to let the cavalry, maybe, and the, the infantry pass through first. Maybe. Here we go. Some more cav coming through the middle here. We have an HRE unit right there. Stakes, though. Got to watch those stakes. Cav coming, charging from the flank there, moving up on the front. I have to keep an eye out for those stakes, though. Maybe coming through on the side like this, they're not going to get hit. Nope. There you go. Some of them are dying. Some of them are definitely dying. We actually have some more Holy Roman Empire unit moving away over here. Mercenary Musketeers for Germany. The Holy Roman Empire. Let's see. Will they fire or are they just going to stand to fight? Looks like they will just be standing to fight. Oh, nope. They're falling back. They are falling back. I wonder why they are falling away. Because now they're being attacked in the back. Concerned flanks exposed, yeah. I'm not sure why they turned their backs like that. Maybe they should have stayed head on. Yeah, just keep fighting them. Nope, they're falling away again. They are falling away again here. And now France has a unit of cavalry in the lines. And they're going to be able to get to this artillery piece if they want. There's a mortar right here. Yes, it is. That is a mortar. Oh, no. Is he coming around? Tired, concerned casualties, yeah, but they can still get in there. They can absolutely get over there, and that's where they're going. They are going to go get this eight-pound mortar right there. Let's wait for another charge to come in. Come on, boys. Certain. I'm absolutely certain that this crew is just going to immediately route. Or pretty much immediately route. They are. They actually haven't lost anybody yet, though. Wow. I thought for sure they were going to lose. No, they're winning. 
What? Are they really that powerful? There's 45 cav in here. Unit losing decisively, and they've routed them. Broken. That unit of French cavalry is broken. Wow. All right. Oh, wait, what is that? What is that flashing? Unit winning decisively. I'm not sure what that flashing is all about, but the French cavalry has been broken. That is extremely interesting to me. I, I don't see that happening very often. But here we go. Some more gunners. Pikes have actually moved up a little bit here in the middle. Maybe going to get ready to move in. More gunners continuing to fire back and forth across this glorious battlefield. But guys, if you'd like to see more Pike and Shot Total War on the channel, feel free. Let me know in the comment section below or obviously drop some likes on the video. That will definitely tell me that you guys enjoyed seeing this kind of content on the uh, on my channel here. Oh, we got Spanish Cav in the back. Yes, we do. Spanish Cav coming around. Are they going after the general? That's a general right there, I believe. He's got the star over his banner. I don't know if they're getting in there, though. More Cav fighting, skirmishing, entangling over on this side. Ooh, slashing. Another unit just broke. Oh, we have the Spanish Cav on this side now starting to break down. So the Dutch Cav was able to turn around and take them out. More skirmishing going on back and forth here. Spikes now starting to make their way forward. This is just a regular musketeer unit. I don't think, I don't know if they have pikes. I don't think they do. This appears to be just a regular pi a regular uh, musket unit. But the pikes moving closer. And the charge. They have charged into melee here. Pikes coming out. No. No, no pikes coming out. We just have sword versus sword. I mean, some pikes are coming out. A little bit. Starting to try and draw their pikes out. bit of a battle over here this is kind of one of like the cool things about these kinds of total war is that little battles happen all over the place so it's not just a whole army fighting a whole army it's just little battles spread throughout the the, the massive length of this battlefield i mean it's huge this look at the side this is a massive massive battlefield massive battlefield i don't know if this is integrated into the mod i'm not really sure but this is a large field of battle for sure. And wait a second. The Holy Roman Empire on this side breaking down. France pressing in. Oh my God, so many Holy Roman Empire banner banners are breaking, wavering, retreating. What is happening on this side of the battlefield here? Is this a cannon? It is. That is a Holy Roman Empire six pounder right there. Is he going to, oh, is he going to dead, oh, we got Pikes moving up. Pikes moving up again. We're looking at Pikes. We are kind of looking at Pikes. There's infantry back here. Again, I'm not entirely sure if all of these musketeers and everything have Pikes or not, or if it's just specific Pike units. I'm not sure. I'd have to dive into this, into this uh, mod a little bit more. We've, Guys, obviously, if you feel like letting me know in the comment section below, that would be tremendously helpful as well. But right, we have a general sitting back here. Ferdinand? Yes, Ferdinand of Austria standing back here. Okay, interesting. We have engagements. Infantry engagements? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Pikes are engaged, but again, no pikes out. There they are. There comes the pikes. Continuing to move forward. Dispatching of the Dutch units rather quickly. They're only down to 148 out of 180, but they're not done. They have not completely broken. Regaining their will to fight. 
They are unfortunately taking on what seems to be three Spanish units here, though. Trying to run them back through to get them back to their side of the line. I don't know if they're actually going to be able to make it through there, though. Looks like they're actually, wait a second, they are. Kind of. No, they got caught again. They got caught again. Handgunners firing away again. Clouds. Massive, massive, massive clouds of smoke. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Lines reforming on that other side there. The Dutch side reforming their lines, firing back. We we'll still have a ton of cav just sitting here on the hill. Holy Roman Empire cavalry has shifted down onto this side. Maybe the Spanish was needing the help as far as the cavalry department goes. Yeah, they have a lot of pikes here in the middle. A lot of pikes in the middle. Holy Roman Empire on this side, though. Looks like he might be strong. Oh, there you go. That's what you want. That's right there what you want in a pike and shot battle right there. Pikes just stabbing away. And we got handgunners on the flank. Are they firing in? We have handgunners here firing. Oh my god, this is wonderful. Let's see if we can see where exactly they're firing. Firing straight ahead. They fire into the back of those boys as they're retreating. Or melee going on up over here. Let's see. Oh, we have a commander staff up in melee. Whoa. Tired, concerned. Casualties sustained. What are they taking on? Oh, the other commander. Wait a second. That's the Holy Roman Empire commander staff. That's the French commander staff. Oh, my God. Did France just, like, shatter over here? His general's gone. His general's unit has broken. That is not a good show. We still have Cav back here, though. But I'm not really sure what's going on. Let's see what we got on this flank here. Is this more cavalry? Oh, my God, it is. Wow, there is so much cavalry on this battlefield. Proper mix, I guess, for a land battle. Shifting all the way back down to the opposite side of the battlefield... This looks like the Netherlands are winning. I see a lot more Dutch flags than I do see Spanish flags. But I also do see a lot of Holy Roman Empire units, or at least these four. Four units of Holy Roman Empire cavalry have moved down. Definitely looks like the Netherlands and Dutch are winning this engagement so far. More shots firing back and forth. Pikes just at the ready. Waiting to see when they will be called up to help out. When will we get to close quarter combat here on this side of the battlefield? As we have on the opposite side of the battlefield, we obviously know there is... Yeah, there's definitely fighting. Like physical, physical fighting going on over on this side of the battlefield. Holy Roman Empire... Surra looks like they're surrounding some French units there. France trying to pull back through. Oh, wait a second. We're breaking. They're breaking a unit of the Holy Roman Empire there. So they're going to try and make their way forward. Another unit of handgunners there for the Holy Roman Empire. Looks like they've broken as well. Wavering. They have not completely broken just yet. We have more pike fighting going on right here. Pikes for France, not getting their pikes out. Need to, they're probably going to need those pikes to try and deal with the Holy Roman Emperor pikes here. A couple more joining the pike line. But they need to get more pikes out here, I think. I feel like they need more pikes. Oh, no. Oh, no. That could be really bad. No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait, wait. Is France pushing forward? He is. They're moving up. They are moving forward again. 
Holy Roman Empire line falling away. We got to kind of zoom back a little bit. Nothing going on over here. Just all staring at each other. A lot of cavalry. A lot of muskets over on that end of the line. We got some routing units here. A six-pounder there and another six-pounder. So looks like the Holy Roman Empire's artillery has been removed from the battlefield. So the general there in the center. Another general right there for the Holy Roman Empire. Let's see what's going on back down over on the other flank of this fight. Dad's yeah, still looking more the same. More, more, looking more like the uh, Netherlands here. The Dutch are just winning this side of the battlefield. Getting a lot of shots in, but I mean, we do have Spain responding. They are firing back. When will we get an engagement on this side? Close quarters engagement, if you will. A lot more pikes and guns in the center here. It looks like for Spain and the Netherlands. So we still have a lot more fighting to go here in the middle. But I wonder if it wouldn't behoove the Spanish to kind of move forward just a little bit here and start trying to maybe dwindle the numbers. Because if they don't start dwindling the numbers, I feel like the Netherlands here, once they win this side, which they are more than likely going to do, I don't want to say they are sure to do, but it looks like they may end up being able to win this side of the battle. If they win this, they'll be able to just circle around and start getting into the rest of these units here. Maybe all these units here should pull back, reform their lines. But, I mean, who am I? I don't really know. I have not played this mod, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I've played a little bit of Napoleon. So, this, this, this game, Napoleon and musket games, way different. Way, 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 way different than, than Rome 2 or Thrones of Britannia or any... Any of the games that I that I that I'm known to play way more. Another thing that I can't tell is how long the battle is. Just says you it, you will draw if time runs out. Time remaining, seven one five looks like a extended phone number. I don't know. I don't know what that timing means. I don't know how long this battle is going to be. So, oh my God! So much gunfire coming here from the middle. Or from the end, I should say. It's basically the end. It kind of it was the middle initially, but now, now it's kind of becoming more the end of the line over here as far as the Spanish force is concerned. We had the Holy Roman Empire units moved back. Yeah, the HRA units have moved away from the front line there. Still have some more cav over on this side, though. Some more handgunners. cav do we have over on this side for the Netherlands? I only see the one, two, three. Oh, he does have a decent four. He does have, I mean, some of them are really beaten up. 48 out of 80, 49 out of 80. This unit, I wonder why they're just standing here. Might be able to come around and get some rear charge. Oh, wait, here we go. Pikes moving forward. The Dutch pikes are moving forward. French pikes falling away from the front line. Reforming their lines. Concerned casualties sustained. Broken unit. Hopefully they're able to come back. Another unit of handgunners right there for the Spanish. Doesn't look like they are looking all that well. They are starting to fall back here as well. Now these guys going to start firing. Oh, we do have some shots coming from the end. He's already down almost 80 men though. 77 men out of that unit. This unit here with only lost five to this point. Now let's swing all the way back down to the other side. See what we got going on. France has moved in onto the Holy Roman Empire's front lines a little bit further. Should say flanking lines though. But we do have more gunfighting going on. Not so much on the melee department just yet, but we do have some more pikes. French pikes have moved up. We have some more of the Holy Roman Empire pikes here as well, or HRE pikes as well. I don't know if I should still be calling them the Holy Roman Empire. I'm just going by the banner as I recognize it being the Holy Roman Empire. So I, I don't know. I'm apologizing if I'm speaking out of turn, but I'm just trying to uh, describe the battle as best as I would know for the banners that are in play. All right, pikes for the HRE starting to move forward. Oh, they're clipping out some of these... Some of this handgunner unit, not sure if they meant to get that close, but they, oh my God, they just got chewed up. Chewed up and dropped. Pikes are nasty in this. Pikes are nasty in this mod. Oh God. All right, back down over onto the other side. Does look like 
the Spanish are still continuing to lose this end of the engagement. 162 out of 300 pikes there. Still have another unit right there, though, starting to make their way forward. I don't think this is a pike unit. I think this is straight musket and sword. They are moving forward, though. Not sure exactly where it is that they're going to try and go. They are still getting shot as they are making their way forward. So we'll have to... Oh, now they're immediately wavering. They got a little bit too close. I wonder, are they out of ammunition? Oh, they shattered. They have routed, broken. But the pikes has returned. This pike line have returned. Got another unit that's running. Center here has moved forward just a bit. But it looks like they might have moved into a bad position. Very bad position right there for them. Another commander staff right here behind the lines. Yeah, look at all this. Netherlands have a perfect flank shot in onto the side of those Spanish units. They are firing in. It is a looks like a fire of will command. Fire at will command has been given. Let's get back over on the other side here. See how the Holy Roman Empire or the HRE is dealing with France. Still a ton of cavalry over here. Actually, cav starting to fire. Starting to fire away. What are they firing at? Oh, they had a Holy Roman Empire or HRE unit right there just break. Now, is there friendly fire going on? I, I, I would imagine there's some sort of friendly fire going on right there from all of these units firing towards that red line. Probably did have some, but all right, here we go. Cav charge coming. Two HRE cavalry charging in onto one French cav. Hopefully we have some more French cavalry going to join this fight, going to help this unit out. Never mind, they're already gone. Oh, my God, they're already broken. Already have broken down. More French cavalry here. Good shooting right there, firing in onto the back of a, of a uh, battalion commander staff unit. Hmm. Okay, back over here. We still have the HRE general, but look at this. Look at all of these men that have just shattered and broken completely. Not an ounce of fight left in their souls. That is a massive retreat here. Absolutely gigantic retreat right there for the HRE. Back on this right end of the battlefield, we do have some more of the Spanish musketeers, Spanish pike lines forming. But this definitely looks like this is not a good look on this end for the Spanish faction. He is really kind of just getting folded in from the uh, left or right end of his line. You can see that the Netherlands have been victorious on this end. Now all they need to do is just start pressing in, or I would imagine, I would guess that they need to start pressing in, giving, putting up some pressure on this end of the line and starting to just push Spain down. Continuing all the way down the line, maybe to the other end here where the HRE and French are fighting. But it does look like the French, it's, actually it looks kind of even. We have a lot of HRE units right here in the center that are broken. The full unit, 160 musketeers, 146, 25 there. We have a Roy de France unit that have made their way through here. That's him right there next to the banner holder. More HRE units over on this end starting to break down. Is that some Dragoons right there? Is this Dragoons? Another unit breaking down. Broken. Off the map. Gone. 56 out of 70. They lost 14 men. And they have been removed from the battlefield, guys. Wow. Back down on the other side. Oh, I do see Cav. Okay, the HRE Cav have begun to involve themselves in the fight. They just broke one unit of the Netherland uh, Musketeers there. Going to continue on through. Maybe they're going to start trying to wrap around and get some rear charges into these guys. 
break them down. Starting to give a hand though. Holy Roman Empire, HRE starting to move forward. This is big. This is definitely big. Nice return here. HRE giving, the, giving a hand. We have one of the 12 pounder cannons right here. That HRE cav could easily, well, I don't know easily. We did see a unit of cav get taken out in the middle there. Uh, but I, I wonder if this unit of 69 giggity, 69 cav here could take out this. Oh my God, point blank shot. Oh, that was brutal. You better get in there, boys. You gotta kill this crew off. No, we're retreating. Where are we going? We have some, uh... Oh, they're wavering! What? They lost 14 men! Why are they wavering? Just turn and charge! Charge! Nope, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Another unit of the cav right here, charging forward. Will they get to this unit of artillery? Yes. Okay, they are getting into it, starting to push their way into that unit. The horses are starting to move away. So these cannons, I believe, are not going to be able to be moved again. They've already lost seven men. Let's see how we're looking here. This unit's firing in. They're firing into the fight. Why wouldn't you just do your own fight and kill this unit? More cannons here. Six pounder, six pounder. Spanish line still holding for the moment. We have the Germanic, I'm sorry, the uh, HRE cav over here, right in the back. Why are they not charging? I'm very confused. I don't, I don't understand why they wouldn't just charge into the back of the Netherland line there. Back down on the other end, we have a general right here. He has taken some losses, 21 out of 40. Some more of the HRE Cav sitting here watching, keeping an eye on, I guess keeping an eye on these other three to four units of Cav here from France. More French units back behind the Holy Roman Empire, the HRE lines. All right, so the HRE has formed up here in the center by this town, but more units of theirs breaking away. Completely shattered unit. Lost 59 men, and they have completely shattered. Did they take out the uh, ballista crew? Well, that's another unit of HRE cavalry. 51 out of 80. Shattered. Banner gone. No way. This artillery crew is still there. How are they still there? They got charged by a unit of cavalry, like a full unit of cavalry. All right, coming in again. Getting into the fight yet again. Oh, wow. It looked like that guy just cut that whole horse in half. An ambush, General. An ambush. An ambush? I don't know where there would be an ambush. It does look like this. Wow, this artillery unit is still holding. I'm very confused. The level of confusion that is going on. More Holy Roman Empire unit. A full 300-man unit. Broken. Gunshots still popping off here. Some more French cavalry here, firing away. I'm not sure where exactly it is that they're firing. Maybe they're firing all the way back up over here. I am not very certain. More French units here. Just keeping an eye. Maybe they're catching their breath. Maybe they're tired. No, it says that they're fresh. Not sure. Not sure, maybe it's because of how vast the battlefield is. That they're just leaving units in strategic positions. Spanish units here in the center. Some drawing swords, some still with guns out. Guns here. Pikes, more handgunners here. More rifles. Loading up, getting ready to 
put off another sallow, another volley. Sallow? Volley. Come on now. Another volley here. Got more Cav. HRE Cav just sitting here in the middle. It's like they, it's like they change sides. Like they're just standing here waiting. <laughs> standing here waiting. To be, to, to be given the Order 66 year line. Oh, wait, no, they're firing in the backs. It looks like they are. It looks like they're shooting them in the back. And then some sort of shots off. Ooh, that was a mean sounding volley right there. Full company volley. Wonderful. Say, it looked like we had another unit starting to make their way forward there. But is that the HRE Cav? It is starting to make their way down behind the Netherlands front line. They are making their way over here. Maybe they're going to try and take out these. Maybe? Are we coming here? Looks like they are charging over here towards these skirmishers. Oh, we had a game freeze. Battle replay freeze. All right, I'm going to make a cut here, and we'll wait to see if it comes back. All right there, guys. So I gave that battle about five minutes for it to come back up, and it just did not come back up. So that is going to, unfortunately, be the end of the first battle replay that I do for Pike and Shot Total War, uh, the 30 Years War. It looks like that says 30 Years War right there. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the bit that you did. Uh, I know that that community is pretty active. There are a decent amount of people in that Discord. Again, I will put the link for the, the uh, Pike and Shot Total War Discord in the link below. Or in the uh, description below, sorry. I will link it in the description. There we go. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're in interested in this time period of battles, feel free to join on over there to the Discord. But that is going to be the end here for me. So have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.